There we go. Ahoy uh, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be Captain Helian today, along with... Peace and might in the tin truck here. At your service, I'm going to make my hammocks and a bright idea. <laughs> okay, I, I only just noticed that for some reason the timer didn't start. Uh, so I'll have to look into that. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to Ray Ram... Ray Ran... <laughs> Ray Man <laughs> Redemption. Uh, we had last time we got to the next boss, but, well, we were just not lucky enough to actually beat him. So, yeah. well, let's get to that now, then. Uh, you want to uh, 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 play by Miss Here a lot? Can you blame me if I started wondering by Miss Here or not when you Miss Say a lot? Yeah. Okay. I still have the Golden Fist that I just got. Yeah, I'd still rather not find out if that actually harms or not. Uh, but, yeah, sadly we don't deal double damage to the boss. Uh, I would much be sure that if a bull lands on your head, he will turn. Yeah. Well, okay, so I can hit head, early. Actually, I'm not sure if you want to be... Rigs through the pain if you have a massive boulder landing on top of your head. Yeah, it would probably just cave the skull in within seconds, or within far less than a second. So you probably wouldn't even know, you probably wouldn't even realize it unless you saw it coming at, like that. <laughs> I did not see yeah. that coming. So if, if it landed on your low, another part of your body without cracking your head, then, then yes, you will probably feel the pain. Uh, yeah, that... There isn't much space here to dodge that stupid claw. So... Can I maybe trick it into going shorter distances or something by sticking close to it? Which of course risks getting hurt. But yeah. Here we go. Okay, we lost the Golden Fist, but, well, it's not really no use here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can trick it into going up higher by hovering. Helicoptering, whatever. We're going to find out on this next round. Okay. Mm. Uh, also, uh, 
Uh, just a side note. I may not be at 100% with the stream today. Because, well, not because of the... Yeah, not because I finally got to do some work again, but more because, well, because of the freaking heat, I did not get a good night's sleep. Oh. So, yeah. Like, I have mostly recovered now, but I will not be surprised if there is still some dulling of the mind. Yeah, and you did have put a restful day yesterday. There. Yeah, if I jump when it snap, when it snaps, clips, whatever. Oh, tri <laughs> tried to trick me there, huh? Yeah, if I jump on it, then, then I'll be gone before it actually impacts. There we go. <laughs> Let him sleep. Well, now we put him to sleep forever. Um, <laughs> and Ray Man just dancing off. Sleep. <laughs> okay. Oh, master of... What did that say? Master of something? I, I, I believe the mist. That's Master of Dream Forest. There's three... No? I'll, no? I'll picture city. Oh, master of the Caves of Scops. Okay. Let's see. Defeat Blizzard, Mosquito, Mr. Sax, Mr. Stone. Okay. When do you say scops? Is it, for me, my brain really says that's you butchering the word, Swedish word for closet. Score. <laughs> okay. The impossible jump reaches a spe uh, spe yeah, specific secret area in a lake where presto. Okay. Must not have been that impossible. Respect the Sax, defeat Mr. Sax without damaging him at all during the chase section. Uh, okay. Uh, how many of these are there? Complete all magicians' bonus levels. Okay. Redemption 100%. We are not getting that. Uh, you have 38 of these total. Not the okay. Head. Oh yeah, uh, you wanna explain what happened yesterday? Uh, yeah. The... <clears throat> okay. Uh, this will be a bit ranty, so anyone who does not want to hear that skip forward like five, ten minutes or something. Uh, yeah, there was a power outage in the entire neighborhood here, as in, just. I didn't check in every direction, but in the direction towards the center of the... I wouldn't call it village? Suburb, maybe? Uh, yeah, just the entire place was flat, outside of a few shops that had their own spare generator or something. Uh, so yeah, that killed off my computer for, well, the first part of the day. And once that was fixed, relatively quickly, I must say, uh, then all of a sudden, whilst it was playing, my computer died you know, again. So I thought there must have been something else going on. But no, uh, at the time, my second computer to the right of me was still processing another video. Uh, so that, that had me confused for a bit. And that made me think that the freaking, <clears throat> that the freaking uh, power socket had given out. Uh, which, well, it hadn't, but I only found out about that after moving the closet that's in front of it. It's not fully blocking it, but it is blocking it enough to, well, not allow for e <laughs> access to actually repair it. Uh, yeah, apparently the, the power socket that the secondary computer is on is on a different fuse. So yeah, it was just a fuse that blew, not not even blew, it just tripped. And I'm I have no freaking idea what might have tripped it. Okay. So yeah, that was a lot of manual labor and time just wasted. Uh, and yeah, even then it still needed to re be repaired because some part of it fell into the wall, which is hollow. It's not a solid wall. So I had to get a new freaking uh 
not, not a socket, but more the container for the socket or something. I don't know what you will, uh, it would translate as. The plastic frame, I guess you mean? Yeah. So then I had to get a new one of that, and then I had to wait for my father to return, uh, because he actually knew how to freaking put the thing in place, because I'm no electrician. Nah, enough of that. Yeah. So, yeah, kind of why we didn't do a mood stream yesterday, because it was all right on the maybe to begin with. Yep. Okay. Playtopia and... I see uh, the LEGO company might want to sue already. And again, the building blocks like that, they're, they're too generic, really, to sue on. Because there's multiple... Uh, I guess copycats would be a bit too harsh a word. Yeah, uh, similar ones. Some would call them off-brand, I guess. But otherwise, people you see alternative, but... The Lego alternatives, which have many different names, as I found out, there's probably many of them. Yeah, the biggest one that I've heard of is Lepin. Yeah, there's more than those. I've heard of maybe three of others and might be more, but as far as I know, they are very outcompeted by Lego for obvious reasons. True. Then again, I th I've heard that Lepin does uh, have a lot m have a lot of interesting sets that LEGO would not do, because up to a certain point they had a complete ban on anything that would be considered too violent. Uh, so yeah, people with Lep... I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's the producers of Lepin directly, that's a death drop. Uh, if the creators of Lepin directly or the fans made it, but they've got an entire section on, like, for example, battleships, and actually, I think it is official. As official okay. as an off brand thing can be. But yeah, basically, like, uh, yeah, Lego warships, off brand Lego warships to be more accurate, <laughs> perhaps. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, just a lot of things that uh, LEGO themselves would not do. Which would still be interesting to have in some shape or form. And, well, if you can't... Uh, <laughs> if you can't work with uh, plastic models or such, then that's, uh, that would definitely well, be a, a way to get some of those. I think we can agree that LEGO definitely have moved away from that. But they have done a lot of things, like... Think about it. Ionicle, massive weapons, Iago, with, yeah, they have been moving a lot of things with swords and, yeah, actually yeah, some guns when it comes to sci-fi settings. True, but even that still remains typically the laser guns and such. Yeah. Also, these trees are just so utterly blatantly based on the on the actual Lego trees. That's... Yeah. Hmm. I see no... I have no idea how to get to those cages. If that, and really? I just realized something here. I think... I can guess that there's many parents that if they see this, they will have a panic attack. With this, you mean... All the Legos? <laughs> well, we haven't stepped on one yet, so that agony has been spared. <laughs> We've been spared. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's definitely a thing. I don't know how painful it is for... I have stepped on Lego, but never, never got hurt by it. Okay, the barefoot or... Barefoot and with socks. Okay. Uh, in part, it is. If, in part, it is. Yeah, it has become a joke, I think. Yeah. I, was like, I guess it depends on the part. And, and what, what side you it it is on. Yeah, if it's on a sharp side, then yes, I could see it. I did have a loose a tooth to a Lego. Did I even ask? 
<laughs> Did you milk get beat teeth. up by a Lego brick? No, no. It, I lost a milk teeth. I was trying to get uh, try to get a Lego loose for got stuck to another Lego. So I ended up trying to use my teeth and my milk teeth fell out. So it was a teeth that was to be replaced anyway. And that is why they added those separator things, which, well, they don't work on everything, but they do help a lot. They added separate. Yeah, like any set you get these days, it comes with uh, an orange uh, extra thing. Ooh. That, uh, <clears throat> which you can use to more easily separate yeah, bricks from each other. For how long when did they introduce that? Not sure, but it has been ongoing for quite a while. So some years at least. Yeah, but that was not a thing when I did with Legos. I get the feeling they probably introduced it somewhere in the tens. Uh, I would not be surprised. But again, it does sound like something that in, uh, when you look at your go. Why did it not invent this earlier? Yeah. There we go. Before... Actually, no, that's just an yeah. ultimate route. I do think we are in the last two worlds. That's just me going from a visual memory of what I've seen of the world map. Oh, hello, we can... nope. Okay, I, I'm gonna ask a question and I want an honest answer to it. Can you hear that impish giggle when you feel the level? Do you also think of the list? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> You're not here, folks. Ow. That helps a lot. It, uh, really? That was just a dick move. Captain! Language! Yeah, yeah, but you oh gotta yeah, agree you with... You mind your lang language. Yeah, you, you gotta agree with that one, since it... Just bullets out of freaking nowhere. Yeah, it's always a jerk move. And that's a uh, sound I had not heard in ages, and I forgot how how I kind of dislike it. The activation noise on the robots. That when we're here now. Go oh, that. What would what you would you even call that? Mechanical clanking? No, it's a bit too soft for that. Technical clanking? I missed that the eyes were up here. Like it's all so you can handle for a short moment, but the longer it goes on, it quickly gets annoying. Yeah. Okay. Nope, missed some, missed a health upgrade. Okay. Do we need to move this thing? Of course. I'm guessing we need to move it over. There. I'm guessing if we had managed to get it over these gaps, there's something we could have gotten with it. Yeah, we could have gotten to the we could have gotten the magician's token. Uh, wait, do we need to use this trick again? Yeah, we we need to use this do this trick again oh. where we hit it where, where we throw our fist and have it hit the ball on the way back. Okay. Damn it, a bit too far. Yeah, I don't like that mechanic. 
if it is a mechanic that doesn't work and probably also part of why people thought the game was so hard. Yeah. This it also comes out rather out of nowhere. With yeah. no prior explanation or real expectation of having figured it out. Yeah, unless it's one of those things that's only said in the manual. Yeah. Which for a game that came out at this time is more forgivable, but still that's something you would want to have explained in the game. And well, the fan devs could have put in a bit to explain it. Yeah. And I will say this people. You don't wanna use the manual to your games. There are a lot of them that are saved as uh, PDF files on the internet right now. But, yeah, not all of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Been a bit since we've seen these. Okay. Yep. Yeah, aren't you supposed to be in an Alice game? There. That. Yep. Okay, that was not supposed to happen, I think. Okay. Come on. There. Yep, nope. Hmm. Get a bit of a feeling that this entire world might have been fan-made. Because I don't remember anything about a toy level. Or a toy world, uh, really? Too early. Yes, yes. Yeah. Go. And there we go. Okay. Am I looking up uh, up tomorrow or something for I feel like, like most people have seen that the reviews of Rayman. Many of them the the reviews of the other Rayman games, but very adamant of uh, not wanting to make a review of the first game. Most of them would be themselves needing to play it, the original, and go crazy. So yeah, that says a lot when the reviewers uh, on YouTube uh, don't dare to play the first game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I like how the pieces re yeah, behave differently. Yeah, these are, of course, towers, so they just bolt <laughs> as far as they can in one line towards us. And the pawns, they hop. There we go. Okay. Hmm. There is another game with a hero similar to Rayman. Oh. I think the name it. I think the name of it is block or something oh and yeah you may have heard of it or at least it's uh, boss music because that goes way harder than it has any right to go what's that called what do you say block p-l-o-k i really can i not there we go i'm unsure and i hear i was expecting you to talk about the uh, was it a tonic mayhem yeah tonic trouble tonic trouble thank you I thought you were about to rant about that game again. <laughs> not really rant, but more sing it. Maybe not so much its praises, but uh, praising the uh, thought process that went behind it with, well, making a... Well, getting practice in with the, with the new engine without risking uh, damage to the franchise. Because yeah. Ubisoft used the... <clears throat> Ubisoft used the uh, experience they gained from making Tonic Trouble to make Rayman 2, which is, well, yeah. considered one of the best platformers of the 2000s, I believe. Yeah. Right whenever 
respectable and more competent compared to yeah. nowadays. <laughs> At least when it comes to leadership. Yeah. Hmm. Can I actually? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, I, I, I think we. I think I said this before, but when it comes to me here, it's more if we blame the leadership than the developers themselves. Yeah. They're just trying to make a game. It's gonna be hard sometimes when the top up want you to force you to implement things that even they don't like, but are they forcing you since they are the one that pays the bill? That uh, has been... meant. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's shock chocolate, yeah. But yeah. There has been a uh, robot that uh, many more deaths are trying to fight back against their superiors. Against bad practices. Yeah. Just not always easy to do. But might be now soon, since more are trying to unionize. I heard that. A new group of voice actors unionized recently. I forget who specifically. Okay. But yeah, we, we've seen enough bullshit in the last few years in the gaming industry that I'd basically say that, well, I'd say that in general that for basically anything, a union should be standard. Yeah. Oh, uh, dear. Yeah. There, there. I still really like the idea of this paint fist. <laughs> I can't. There we go. Okay, now why would we want to become small here? There. I'm guessing that there's something that has a small passage somewhere hidden here. Yeah. Okay, that was just bad timing on my part. Okay, let's give it another shot. Uh, let's see. It's there. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think we can probably still get one or two more streams out of this game. There. And after that, we'll be returning to SteamWorld Heist. Or not returning, but we'll be re returning to SteamWorld with SteamWorld Heist. And I messed it up. Dead, I cut them. Dead, I. There. There we go. Yeah, at least all of this is a lot more doable than it would have been in the original version of the game. There we go. Uh, really? Again? Okay, I'll have to run and jump that. But yeah, we do need to be small to get through that gap. There. Okay. Wait, did I see? Okay, there's a puzzle piece there. Yep. Okay. Is there... Let me just check if there is actually anything else around here. This here, but... We need to be small to get through that gap. Okay. As we need to be small to get through the gap on the left here. There. Uh, let's just see where the puzzle piece brings us. 
there. Okay. It's the magician's token. And the gap that we're too big for. Of course. Mm. Uh. I, I gotta say that the <laughs> getting shrunk like this is my least favorite of the quote unquote power ups. I, it was already the part about Rayman 3 that I hated the most as well, so. Uh, yeah. Mm, I remember, now. and apparently played very differently from depending on what you played it on. For on some consoles it played very well, and others the sauce really horrible. I'm guessing the PC version was one of the horrible ones. Okay, that was me. That was just from me being dumb with this. I think it was one of the second best one. There. I'm a bit rusty enough for it was a while. I look up on those videos. Hmm. That actually reminds me that I... Just enough. Uh, I've been looking at what uh, other potential Sonic games to stream in the future. Uh-oh. Okay. And I was thinking maybe Sonic oh, Unleashed. But for that, I would need to find which of the versions is generally considered to be the best. And I know that the Wii version is very much not it, because it got it got shafted on levels and such. Like, it, it's lacking an entire world, for one example. Okay. Okay. There we go. Again, I'm overlooking the freaking eyes. Which I guess is kind of fitting that I'm overlooking eyes. Not too early on that, because that's going to fade. Okay. Also, gotta love that the spikes here are just those... Uh, what even would you call those things? They, they, the toys that looked like, and well, basically were used like caltrops. Yeah, or caltrops for another purpose to throw a small ball, or more yeah. ball. Okay. I have absolutely no idea either what the game is called or what the actual purpose of it is. Of it is. <laughs> like, yeah, what the hell are you supposed to do? I only ever see them on TV. For, I don't think they were allowed in Sweet in this Europe to begin with. I don't even, not even sure if they were ever a thing in Europe over here. Yeah, the, the play with the with the mobiles was a thing. I had we had some uh, that had been going from family to family. Just not with the metal bits. Only the yeah. tiny balls of glass and stone. Okay, now we can check behind it. Oh, thank you. Also, get lost, you. Okay, there must be something hidden this way, then. Actually, when it comes to just using just the marbles, I do kind of know the game. Yeah, it's, it's to try and get your marbles in a pit of some sort and the opponents out of it. Typically what? gambling the ones you're using for it or something. Uh, okay, do you may think of a different one? For uh, we just made small pyramids of uh, well, each pyramid was uh, four balls or marbles, I guess, I guess I should probably say. And for each one you broke, so you shot a, a, a flick a ball at them. Th those were your points, basically. Okay. Yeah, I, I know I had marbles, but I don't think I ever weighed with any of them. Hmm. I guess, well, <laughs> I'm, I kind of uh, want to not lose my stuff. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, 
behind it. Not sure if I've ever sp told of this, but one of the reasons that I'm very cautious with my stuff, and especially with uh, lending them or so uh, giving them away, is because, uh, you know, uh, I don't know at what age about. I think it might have been around 10 or so. I was given a, uh, a bicycle for my birthday, and the next fucking day, the thing had been stolen already. Oh, come on! So, yeah. <laughs> you can call me bitter, but I think I had good reason for that. Yeah, and most people, I think, has been more and more caught about lending out things. Uh, okay, they don't be... <laughs> they don't stay harmful once they've crashed. Ooh, uh, high speed chase. <laughs> if this world is fan made, then I must say that it is very. They, they made a good. They did a good job with it. Okay. Here we go again. Just <laughs> start up your Ride of the Valkyries here, I guess. Uh... Oh. No, I did not mean for you to actually try and make that noise or something like that. Uh, no, I... I did not even try. It, for a second I thought that said Play Man, but no, it says Rayman. It is really just a classic little uh, clanking sound effect, huh? Get moving. Yeah, and I hate it. Magician's token. Uh, I'm not be surprised. The reason I haven't heard it in ages is because yeah, people just don't like it. Could be. Triple. Really? Okay, at least we're not that I, far away. I thought we have been running into an Easter egg or something, but no, that was Rayman screaming. There. Okay. It's full barrage. Also, something I should probably keep in mind is to make some... I've been using the window capture a lot more recently with streams. I'm not sure if I've seen him do that before, the handstand, but then again, there aren't too many of these uh, flight uh, levels. Uh, but yeah, I, I probably should... At the moment, I've just converted the full screen scenes into uh, window capture scenes. I should probably make you know, specific ones for it. Since, well, <clears throat> I might need to use the, the full screen for some games that just won't, will not work with uh, window capture or game capture for some reason. Alright. I do gotta say that window capture has made it a lot easier to, uh, yeah, for the, for emulated games. Since, well, I don't have to narrow down a window capture to, ex to certain exact measurements. Lair of the Chessmaster and Brain Games. Hmm. Uh, oh, I think I see. Or... Hmm. Oh, are my tricky doors giving you trouble? Sorry about that. They were usually calm, but Mr. Dork's influence scared them shut. The only way to open them now is with the right keys. Fortunately, the keys got scattered everywhere thanks to those evil jesters. I only have this one left, but I'm sure it'll help you get started. Here. Okay, for a second I thought this was going to involve the, the boxes we've been finding all over the place. 
Okay. Hey, hold on. Why are the lovebirds over here? Because they spawned in because of the, the one uh, thing we picked up. Oh. <laughs> Did you forget that picking up some of them will cause some new ones to spawn every so often? Bye-bye. I, I was wondering where the lovebirds spawned. Yep. Come on, third time. There we go. Okay, there and there. Okay, now we've got a triangle key. That's not going to work on these because it's or that one because it's an upside down triangle in that one. Okay. So with this one, it's mostly going to be exploring around trying to find the right keys. Yep. Yep. No, you don't. And no, you don't either. Okay, now we have an upside down one. We also have some health to collect, so let's do that. And then there's a diamond one. Okay, that also respawned these. Okay. Bye bye. But now there's also one over there, and up there. There, okay. Now this, uh, this gives me a big fan level vibe. With the added complexity. Okay. Really? I'm not sure about that. We can check it after the stream. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have that key, so we'll need to go this way. Um. Okay, now... Oh. I'm just starting to get eye fatigue. Okay. Okay, I'll... Yeah. It's not too bad at the moment, but if this keeps going, I might need to call it early on the stream. It's not so much eye strain, I think, as... Yeah, more like... Yeah, eyelids starting to get a bit heavy. Not, and not even from wanting sleep or something, but just because... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even sure how to really describe it. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I, I understand you, since... I mean, how to play games when your eyes want to be closed? Yeah, it probably doesn't help that much that this game is so freaking colorful. <laughs> yeah... <laughs> Okay. Square. We need another diamond. Hmm. There. Watch that guy square in the face. Okay, so we need a triangle to get the diamond. And we need the diamonds to get the upside down triangle. So, yeah, we need to find a square key first. So that's the only one missing here. Okay, I thought we would have to go a bit further, but no. Okay. There. Yep. Oh, don't, don't tell me that new eyes are going to be poofing in with each of these. Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah, I think of all enemies, I would probably call the eyes the most annoying ones. Okay, now we can progress. 
Those. Mm, I, I'm still not sure this is a fan level or not. Actually, I can probably do a, yeah, do a quick look on the sides. Uh, how the heck? We can't long jump that, I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, they're just they're jumping at the bits quite literally, as if I was a mama, a mama bird coming in to feed her flock or her nest. Oh dear. Well, those flew the nest in any case. Okay. And we're back here. We're back here. Next. Okay, let's just end it there. Let's see, Rain Room Redemption. Oh, yeah. Fan levels. Let's see, what does it say? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's loads in. We can continue here. Yep. Okay, I keep thinking that the <laughs> the dashers, I think I'll call them, are just go are going to fly, are going to jump up and bite, not just <laughs> not just blitz me. Huh. I saw somebody pop up on my Discord. With the penalty. And they said from my chat that I forgot, uh, I don't have muted since it's usually not too chatty. It is not to the point of being spammy. Apparently, it's almost bound down there got a re release on PS5. And that's a PS2 yep. game. Yep, I, I think it's out on Steam as well, or supposed to come out on Steam as well, but from what I've seen, it's not really that impressive. Where it doesn't look remember, that it's from impressive. PS2. True, yeah. But they, they, from what I've seen, they haven't re really... They haven't touched up the graphics as much as they could have. But uh, that might just be me being, well, <laughs> a bit of a jackass on that. So graphics aren't everything at all. Yeah, and there might even be a reason they want to keep the nostalgia feel, or they plan to uh, do something like that. True. I have heard... I have heard some early stuff about Star Wars Outlaws. And that is not entirely good, not entirely bad, but that it does, it, it, that it's, yeah, it can still be promising. Yeah, from what I've been seeing from Pop Nations and such people don't like it, probably the, most of it is due to what Ubisoft tried to do with it as well. What did I try this time then? Oh, something about the uh, some missions are locked behind to pay a subscription of uh, seventy-five euro or something. Uh, of course. So yeah, I think you can see why people don't like it. Like it could have potential, but then people realize much of the story and such are mediocre. The main characters are likable. <laughs> And they still claim it to be, and take it all these bit of salt. And of course, a lot of levels are hidden behind paywall. Uh, of course. Like some of the good that I have heard is, is that it actually has a faction system that uh, has an actual impact. As in, if you <clears throat> you can, from what I, from what little I've seen of people who were given early access. And even then, it was only to a limited part of the game. Uh, they did like the the faction system because it, <laughs> really, game like it. Uh, working for one faction will piss off another or others, depending on things. And yeah, of course, factions that you are in good standing with, they will leave you alone and maybe even help you and such but of course in exchange for that factions you on bad terms with are of course going to shoot on sight 
Of course. And I think the last time that I'm aware of, at least, that uh, one of those sorts of systems was seen in a big game was, uh, yeah, Fallout New Vegas, I think. What does this actually say? D. Oh. Oh, good. For a second I saw that spelled the God. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. This time, knowing that there's a bloody ambush on the way. I, if this is a fan level, then, well, the devs got the, some of the bullshit on it, right? But actually... Can you guys actually turn around? Yes, you can. Okay, that's a bit of a problem for me. Okay. Uh, whilst they are running off and on their way back, hopefully. There they come. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier than I actually thought. Okay, I'll check the I'll check the Wikipedia page for the game in a second then. Okay, there. Uh, yep. Okay, if that... If I'd been on my last hit and... And that would have caught me, I would have been pretty pissy about that. Yeah, I... I don't know if it's fully intended, but it f just feels like... When you're shrunk, it feels like you're threading through mud or something. Yep. Okay. Uh, f okay, I'll, I'll need to call a quick BRB here because, well, <laughs> nature and such. So, right. yeah. Back ASAP. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, come back. Let's see. <clears throat> about <clears throat> 50 minutes to about an hour that was. Uh, where's the pen? Note to self. Get other colored pen than send black. Because on a black desk, that is freaking camouflaged. Okay. 0 0.50 to about 1.02. Try a yellow or blue pen. Okay. You know, something that stands out. And yeah, I had a quick look on the Wikipedia page. All of Playtopia is fan-made. Okay. It's a bit weird. Okay, there we go. Like, Didn't get unselected for a sec. Like, this is weird levels in Rayman before, but... In all the Rayman games and such, none have been a toy level. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where do we need to bring this thing? That, that's those down there. Okay. Is it supposed to be a level that was cut from the original or maybe? Okay. Either way, yep. let's just continue on. Though now I've got I Okay, I don't think I got turned around. I think this is more a shortcut. Or maybe not. Hmm. Let's just look around and see what we can find, and hopefully we'll find the exit. Okay, upside down triangle for you. Hmm. It's always nice to have more of those. Okay, I probably should look at buying a few of those one-time upgrades. Yep. Just to ensure that I go into levels with full health and such. Okay. It can also be good to buy that uh, magnet upgrade. Yeah. It won't be that useful, but it'll still be nice to have. Okay, that's a shrunken path. Okay. 
Anything this way? Just more strength path. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I guess checkmate on Rayman. What just happened? Yeah, one of the towers just <laughs> basically Goomba stomps Rayman. Uh, uh there's the wrong way. No, no, the, the key is there. Uh, yeah, there. Huh? Okay, then why is it? Why is the parts not? Okay, I need to. I need to set up something else then to get that. Uh, Let me guess. It's one of. It's one of these two. Yeah. Okay. We grab this one. That causes these platforms to appear. And grabbing that one that causes the platforms near the key to appear. <clears throat> okay. Bit of a nuisance, but there's bigger ones in the game. I doubt it'll actually capture us on that specific point. We'll probably still need to grab those after. And after another death. Oh. Oh, sneaky. I've not been paying much attention to the arrows pointing to the cages. Okay. This time, we're not going to get Goomba stomped. Okay, but we are going to get hit and run. Okay. <laughs> You got the stone by tower and ran over by tower. It's diamonds. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where, what was I talking about? I think we were a bit earlier talking about Sonic Unleashed and which version to potentially uh, stream. Yeah! Uh, damn it. That would have been free health. Um, I think I've heard that the PlayStation... Yeah, the Wii version is definitely to be avoided. There's no PC version. Hello. Chess Master. You, <laughs> you are a pitch-changed uh, razor beard. Well, well, who dares enter my lair and challenge the Chess Master? <laughs> I'll have you know I've never lost a single match of chess. You take the White King, I'll take the Black King. The goal is to get your own king to the other side of the board. Let's begin. Okay, very simplified game of chess. Okay. Okay, so we take turns moving them. And he's going to cheat. It's hard not to lose when you <laughs> when you freaking cheat. Okay, they don't move R uh, the R the yeah, piece. Okay. <clears throat> there. Okay. Uh, let's see, what was I saying? Yeah, Sonic Unleashed, either the, some I think I read somewhere that's either the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 2 version was considered the best. I'll need to look again. Of course, it's a, it's a bit of a... Not hardly, but it's a, it's a thing that the fans can't uh, fully agree on which one is the best or not. What the... There. Hmm. Not this. Yes, this time. <laughs> I wonder, can we move his uh, king back? There. Also, I will say this. Someone has never lost a chess. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I would play with them since. Yeah, it's sort of like the. I forget what the character was named specifically, but something like Gambling King in uh, Ronma One Half, who was also quote unquote undefeated in gambling, but it was only because he he played against freaking toddlers. I may have forgot about that, uh, Jörg. But yeah, here's the, the here's issue. Either extremely good cheater, or when they finally do lose... They're yeah, going to be a sore loser. Yeah, they, they, there's a chance for that. They, they, they could be humbled by it, they could. But it, it depends a, bit, a lot on the person themselves, uh, how they react. Yeah. There we go. Last bit on Sonic Unleashed. I'll just look through what I can find online again to see which versions are recommended and not. <clears throat> okay. Keep an eye on him for when he throws his bow tie. Going to throw it this time. Yep. Still got a hit in. Okay, but only one hit. Yeah, yeah, we are actually going to win this. Because we are just closer. I, I wonder if that's homing or not. Or does it just go a certain path? I'm not unsure. Hmm. Ugh. Pardon? Hmm. We, I can check by just going on the other side here. Presuming I won't take damage from him slapping the, uh, the king. Nope. Oh, okay. I thought he sent those in one specific direction, but no, he sends those specifically at us. There. He's off to anger management. It's, it seems to be on a specific path. Two towers. I think I might be able to duck in that corner. Oh dear. Oh, I gotta be honest. Like, I enjoyed us playing the other Rayman games, at least most of them. But this one, I don't hate it. Hmm. Yeah, it it is just ouch. It's uh. The others outshine it. This yeah. one still deserves credit for laying the foundation. Definitely. But the other ones are just more enjoyable. Go. Okay. There. Yep, we can duck underneath it. Okay. Yep. I forgot there were three of you total. Okay. Wonder if you make a special face if they, they will flew, fly even further. Okay, we're just out of range. There. Okay, what tricks do you have up your sleeve now? Your bow tie, I guess. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. I 
it just summons so many. Yeah. You expect uh, if this is a fan made level, that they'll be a bit more merciful. Maybe that I'm too close, which sets all of them off at once. Since, as was, as we could see earlier, if we're far enough away, they don't, yeah, we don't get their attention. Still getting both of the twins because they were sitting literally on the same spot. There. Okay, so retreat to the corner. At least they're split. Ooh, spread out a bit. Can I hit them? No, the, the king's in the king. way. I, I guess we actually need to think a little bit strategically here. Just Damn like in chest. Hmm. Yeah, can't say I'm too. I like the general idea, but not so much the execution. Hmm. And yeah, since the kings also block damage, okay, that's also a bit of an obstacle. Behind the king. Okay. One more turn. Three, four, five of the damn things. Yep. And yeah, they're all in one place. Yep. Really? Yep. Come on. Okay, that's... That's, that's unfair. Five of those is hard enough. I have him repeatedly do that at that final page instead of just once? Yeah, that, that's unfair. Wait, can I maybe shorten things a bit by... I doubt it. I was by, maybe if I hit the, the king extra hard. Yeah, I suggested that to you earlier. Let's... Nope. Same distance. Uh... Dance. Mm, maybe if the... 
Maybe if the, the king pieces played a bit more of a role, like they can't move past their king or something. Or they can't move past our king. These bastards take a lot of hits, and we, we even have the Golden Fist, so we deal double damage anyways. Oh no, I imagine if you did not have the Golden Fist. Uh, yeah, it, it feels like we are forced into the corner to be able to dodge the bow tie, because otherwise... We just have those idiots jumping on our heels the entire time. Hmm. Okay, let's give it 15 more minutes. And then we'll call it on this, if we're still here. Yeah, it's the fact that he launches them on the exact same spot if we're standing still. Maybe I yeah, need to it, run I, around I, some I, to split them. If you are slightly sleep deprived as Captain is at the moment, these kind of bosses is not the ones you should f be f playing against. We have said that if you were to get stuck on this game, we would abandon it, and... Yeah. We still have a different path to go, though. Okay. Okay, so I can hit them, but then there's the risk of pushing them past the king. Hmm. And the, cl the further we go, the more of a shield the black king becomes for them. Two, three... Four, five. If the if the king wasn't blocking them, maybe yeah, maybe I need to try and catch them in the air more. Some of them gone. Wait, do they do they take extra damage while in the air or something? It seems like it. And there we go, we win. Seems like a checkmate. Gah, it doesn't count. You weren't playing fair anyway. Says this one who was cheating. Here's the master key. Now get out of here before I challenge you to a rematch. Okay, and I'm guessing that we need to have to actually get through here. Yeah, master door. Oh, you got the key. Color me surprised. Well, you have proven yourself worthy. You shall pass. Somewhere Gandalf is annoyed. Really? <laughs> Rayman, <laughs> a Rayman does maths reference? Okay. Okay, five, four, so one. Okay, I'll give them props for the reference. I, I think there also was a game called uh, Rayman Teaches Typing or something. What? Let's see if we get a reference to that as well. If my memory on that is correct. May very much not be. Okay, we need to get something up there. To get, to get lost. I've seen enough of you idiots. 
And there goes all our extra health. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a leap in difficulty. Uh, let's see, 85, 22, 97. Yep. Okay, yeah. That was the first one where we we yeah, we would actually be punished for getting the answer wrong with more than just a bit of yeah, time wasted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still got a hit. Yeah. Come on. Why is it sending us... Is it just sending us in a loop? I would be even... Okay. Anyways. I'm not even sure if we need to go through those in an order, or we just need to make a... <clears throat> a functional equation out of them. And get the answer for that one. There... Come on. Yeah, Mini Rayman still just feels just sluggish to me. I doubt it's going to change anything here. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll still call it in a bit. Okay, now there's now there's a platform here. Okay. <clears throat> really? Okay, minus twelve is seventy-two. Okay. Not there. Okay, I'm guessing the other two would just spawn a. Uh, Ambush is behind us. Uh, up there, that's... Uh, Come on. Okay, let's at the very least try to get through this level. I, I hope the toy level is a uh, optional level. We'll need to double check on the world map, but I don't think it is at the moment. Oh, No harm this time. Can we actually... No, we, we can jump high enough to get restored, so we can't use the checkpoint again. Because apparently the photographer has something against short people. Uh, apparently he cannot see you because you can't reach uh, the thingy. Could also be that. Okay. And now I just have a flashback on something I saw one of the comic dubs. Who? A robot uh, woman was out there walking, so people were taking photographs about those things. So she also wanted to take up her photo. So she chose to stand next to it and remove her faceplate. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's time to raise the water, I... <laughs> okay. Uh, 12. Uh, yes, people, uh, she did the uh, V sign when standing next to it uh, for the photo, and yeah, the photographer was... Really? Rightfully confused! Uh, what the heck? 
Okay, the, the, no. No. The, I mean, this is not okay. just dicking with us. Yeah, they're just... Okay, so... They made... Made most of the game a bit easier. And not a, not to a train wreck and all that. With the different gears, the sliders and all that, but... This level? Toyland? Yes. Yeah, here is the cyber. You would just make this hard at the original. Playtime's yeah. over. Yeah, that, that putting though putting just difficult questions on that uh, when you are on a time limit and possibly limited lives. Yeah, no. Okay, uh, let's see. What we have we here? 10, 9, 14, 12, 16. There. Okay, give me that. Yep. And of course, that spawns an enemy. Uh, let's also grab that before we die. Now I kind of want to go to that one <laughs> good burger place that's in the area. I think I've spoken of that before. Burgers and ribs. They're, they are freaking expensive, though. Thank you for that mental image. Grilled okay. ribs. A hamburger into one. Uh, I think that's called a McRib at uh, <laughs> McDonald's. You have the burger and the ribs in the same bread bun? Uh, not in that way, but... It, there we go. Yeah! Wait, that's it? Wait, hold on, are you telling me that's how they make McRibs? Uh, hello, gremlin it's thing. I don't think I've ever actually had a McRib. Yeah, but I hope it's just not the ribs in a burger for... Here's the thing, people. Ribs have bones. Yeah. So putting uh, a burger sounds like a stupid idea. I think with the McRib, there's no... No bones in it. Yeah, if, 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 if it just... Just a rib meat in the burger? That's fine. That's really to keep the bones out since. Yeah, you just be more work. Okay, let's just get rid of this wannabe. Okay, it, it, it's a boss, but. Who the heck is this? There. Okay. Now they're going to split. Yep. Really? Okay, I think the, yeah, the plan is to be on the armored bits when he throws the bomb. We can stand safely in the middle. Work somewhat safely. They only, they only seem to throw after they get punched. So, do they do the same when they're split? Of course, then the other one can be a problem. Yeah, the other one did not break the bridge, Joe. Yeah, he threw a bullet thing. Yeah, he's to 
bullets. Mm. Okay, so maybe we need to focus on that one. Stupid unfusion dance. Mm. Yeah. Needing to dodge the both of them is going to be a nuisance, though. Yeah. Stupid fuse, unfusion dance. Mm. This can be a bit of a problem when, well, fans uh, make something for a game. They can. Uh, up the difficulty on the fan stuff too high, which makes it so that, well, more casual players can't actually beat it. Okay, no, that, that dive is aimed. Okay, then. We need to be careful not to break the middle part. Because this jackass takes up this all the space on one of these. Underneath, then they jump to the other side. Oh. oh! Okay, they have limited health on their own, so we can take one out and then just deal with the other. So, probably best to deal with the red one first. Or maybe just try to hammer them both down. Damn it, fell for that. Mm. Let's give it a few more tries. I'll try to focus one down. There. Now he's going to split. Oop. Damn it. Oop, dodge that. Okay, that's one dealt with. Should make this one much less of a nuisance. You are not. You, you are not damaging. Uh, there we go. Playtime is over. Yeah, because I was starting to actually get really annoyed with this. Ugh. Let's see, Master of Playtopia. Okay, so that's the fan levels done. Which means that Candy Chateau. Is that the last? Is this the last level? Oh, last la last world then? 
Hmm. Hopefully. Okay, let's at least try this level. Actually, I can do a quick search on that. Let's see. <clears throat> because I don't really see much more space for things to move towards, unless they go into the air. Uh, Rayman 1. Worlds. Let's see. Six distinct worlds. Okay, now it actually needs to load in the actual page, so it doesn't... Okay, you're just going to vanish. Yay! The utter <laughs> heck are you? Uh, that's a fork. And that's a. Those are switch. Why are the switch army knives in Candyland? As Swiss army knives, not switch army knives. All um. oh, right, I think I know why I said that accidentally. I saw. Today, of someone turning a broken switch controller into a switch knife. Really, the freaking. Uh, let's see. We had the forest. We had the caves. We had uh, the Playtopia doesn't count. Six different worlds. Where are we even supposed to go here now, then? Oh. Supposed to fall down. Okay. Yep. <laughs> of course the water is now jello. I don't think that's yellow. Yep. Yeah, For the sound. Dream forest, blue mountains, caves of scop. Other half is imaginary, band land, pictures the... Okay, so Candy Chateau is the last world. With Playtopia making the seventh uh, unofficial world. Uh. Hmm. Okay, this still does not answer where the heck we are supposed to go. Because there's no passage around here. Can I stand on that? Yes, I can. Not on that. Hmm. What well, is that green? St that stuff supposed to be? It's not yellow for again. You're splashing into it. Hmm. Is there something we need to do? The Get something to spawn back there at our. Hmm. And stand on one end of that, but not on anything of that. Okay, yeah, something spawns. Okay. The question is where did it spawn? There it is. Really? Okay, I'll take it. Hmm. And now downwards. The I hope this world isn't going to be a bunch of back and forths constantly like this. Especially like that. Ugh. Even I'm getting sleepy now already. And I've been playing sleeping well. Where, where? Okay. Uh, let's just call it here early. Because this is yeah. going to... It's just going to annoy the other piss out of me. <clears throat> At least we okay. don't progress. Yeah. Sorry for the early end of it, people, but yeah, at this point it would just be a just a, a practice. What do we even call that? It would just be me repeatedly getting more and more annoyed 
and making no, no progress. Uh, but no futility? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, before we end the stream, of course, let's go look for someone to raid. Double check that the browser is muted. Okay. Remove the always on top from the preview. Okay. Though actually, now that I'm using window capture, I could put the uh, I could put the browser on the main uh, screen since that won't get captured. That way, I don't have to remove the uh, always on top. Any. Uh, let's see. It's not too busy. Mr. Glitch is playing Roblox. Lashers is playing Grim Dawn. Chubbis the Moon Seal is playing World of Warcraft. I'm a Flanker is playing Crusader Kings 3. Broadcast is playing Elden Ring. Isai Razir is playing Dark Souls 3. And in the last two, we have Grim the Wolf playing Elden Ring as well. And WBPL is playing Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, let's see. Wasn't that the... Let me double check that one. Okay, this is not... I thought there was... Yeah, I know there is at least one Fire Emblem mobile game. I played it for a short while. Extra short because, well, it was not deep at all with its mechanics. And... Yeah, this is not a mobile game. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, any of those sound interesting to you, or shall I take a pick? Shall we look for someone new? Uh, let's go say hi to Lash. It's become a bit of a habit to say hi to them whenever they're playing Grim Dawn. Ooh, okay, I haven't thought about that. Okay, slash raid and paste. But before we <laughs> before we head off on that. Thank you anyone who may have been watching now or later. Again, sorry for just a slower, or not a, a shorter, lower energy stream, but yeah, such is nature when a freaking, uh, I wouldn't, I can't even call it a heat wave because it's, it is just completely edging <laughs> the area with it being a heat wave and then just you know, dropping, the temperature dropping uh, right when it would hit the qualifiers for a heat wave. So, yeah, now it's already dropped uh, a good few degrees compared to yesterday. So it's again below 30 Celsius. And just to give an example of just how freaking warm it was last night. I, it was warm enough to give me a freaking heat rash. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, that's concerning. Okay, luckily it's yeah, it wasn't too much of a pain today. I I did uh, what was I did apply uh, aid lotion to it. I'm I'm blanking on the correct words, so let's leave it at that. Um, and yeah, either way, we'll continue with this game next week and likely finish it up then. <clears throat> Uh, but for the weekend, we have at least a Digimon, Cy a Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth stream coming, and maybe something extra. We'll have to see. Yeah, the extra Ooh. weekend stream is will probably become a maybe. Yeah, more of a. We can call it a maybe. Yeah, we already have maybe ma multiplayer. <clears throat> Even though I stopped with the Discord events because they just kept screwing up the dates. But not the dates, but the times. They keep they kept resetting to impossible times, like uh, start at 4 p.m. and end at 2 p.m. on the same day. That's sort of what? stupid. Yeah, I, I don't get it either. Okay. Either way, though. Uh, yeah, Cyber Sleuth. Maybe something else, and with some luck on Monday, we can have some multiplayer fun with Liz, yeah, Liz, Rom, and Hex. And if not, maybe with, well, a few of them for Watch Dogs, or maybe finally a return to Cross Codes. Yeah. Uh, and maybe I'll finally remember to remove that candle from your head before it just melts a hole in your, in your helmet. <laughs> Oh, 
know if I have us having constantly good ideas. Okay, but for now. Ah. Okay. Arm is starting to knock me a bit because of the lifting with work. <clears throat> but yeah. Let's get that raid started. Uh, there. And yeah. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch out for undead seagulls with candles. And whatever that previous boss was. Yeah, and what's that? Thank you.